hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing well today I'm going to teach you a brief idea about the sodium metal sodium belongs to group 1 group 1 metals are called alkali metals the core alkali metals alkali metals they are highly reactive the highly highly reactive what are they lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium when you move down the group atomic size increases due to increase in number of shells sodium is the highly reactive metal reactivity reactivity increases down the group which one is highly reactive this one when you compare the s block elements and d block elements d block metals are less reactive compared to s block metals they are metals and the reactivity in decreases sorry reactivity increases down the group okay look at that I'm so excited about this sodium metal. I want to do a small experiment after uh, I will teach you about the sodium metal, like like how many electrons are there, how many protons are there. And after that, I want to demonstrate a small experiment of sodium with water, how the sodium reacts with the water. I'm too excited to open the box of sodium metal which is highly reactive look at that sodium metal and sodium metal is always a store in paraffin oil it never ever a store in water guys because of the reactivity it's highly reactive so look at that some some sort of sand stuff if it spill that sand will absorb all these uh, all the uh, oil and it will never re so, so it is highly reactive it react with other metal so that's why we are using sand to to stop the reaction of sodium with other stuff like plastic or the other metals I'm sorry. Yeah. Look at that. I bought this. I like I like first group metals. No doubt they are highly reactive, but they are soft. They are very soft, guys. They are very soft. You can press the sodium. I will show you the sodium. You can press the sodium between the tips of your finger. Look at the sodium metal. Yeah, it's it's sealed. Yeah, I know, I know. It's highly sealed because of reactivity. It's sealed. So I want to pack it again when I will finish my experiment. Look at that one. So sodium is always kept in oil, which is a paraffin oil. It looked like water, but we never ever. <laughs> stir the sodium in water guys because of the reactivity look at that so let's do some theory behind the sodium look at that i want to take off the small piece i'm lucky that they they gave me this piece yeah and um, that's you can it's so soft so soft yeah and i want to add a little oil on it and avoid the contact of sodium with water guys sodium is present in the group one so sodium is the group one metal we have as block elements this side we have p block element and d block element so sodium is in group one and sodium is a s block 
maximum highly reactive guys highly reactive highly reactive no doubt reactivity increases down the group so sodium when you look at the periodic table the position of the sodium is 11th and it has two number you can easily find these two number when you look at the sodium in the periodic table so the position of the sodium is 11th in the periodic table and sodium belongs to group 1 metals now what these 11 mean 11 is the atomic number it has 11 proton 11 electron and how can we work out the number of neutron 23 minus 11 which is 12 12 neutron so we can ask one question why this sodium is placed in group one why not in group two because it has one extra electron in the outer shell check my last videos or my previous videos i have taught how to write the electronic configuration of any any element in the periodic table so 11 mean 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 6 3 s1 2 2 4 10 and 11 so it has one extra electron in the third shell can we remove it easily yes we can remove that electron the energy required is called ionization energy i will teach you brief idea about the ionization energy i will make a separate video based on the ionization energy so sodium lost one electron and become na plus it has 11 proton 12 number of neutron equals to 12 and number of electron equals to 10 because it lost one electron okay metal we know that from now we know that all metals give away electron so sodium is a metal it can easily lost one electron because that electron is present in the outermost shell sodium is a metal we know that the reactivity is in increases down the group now see i want to demonstrate a small experiment what happened when we drop that sodium metal in the water now you can see that reaction you heard or you saw many videos about that it's a highly highly exothermic reaction exothermic reaction meaning when you drop a little amount of sodium in the water it creates a lot of energy and along with the energy it can also catch as fire that's why we kept the sodium in this paraffin oil one more thing when you expose the sodium when you take away the sodium and show it to the air it immediately react with the oxygen we know metal reactivity is very high it react with the oxygen and form sodium oxide plus o2 it forms sodium oxide half o2 so look at the surface surface is bright silvery and when you expose to the air the surface become tarnish due to the formation of sodium oxide now let's do the practical i'm so excited to show you or to demonstrate that experiment look at that that's the pure sodium before you start experiment you have to da adapt that sodium with the tissue uh, to that so that the tissue soak all the oil or cut it we'll cut that and put it back into more oil and i will show the exposed part of the sodium see it's it's look at that this is look at that it's when you expose that sodium into air it the surface become tarnished and it forms sodium oxide yeah i'm too excited i want to drop that sodium into water let's see what happens and i'm not adding all in one go let's add half of it it catches fire 
and it it form a ball a small ball and it look at that surface guys and it it catches fire now one two three look it, it form a small ball and it's and it ca catches a fire on yeah I'm not uh, just now you have seen that pop-up experiment and it catch a fire guys please careful when you do this experiment and I strongly recommend that don't do this experiment at home yeah look at I'm dropping a, a small chunk of the sodium and uh, let's see what happened it form a ball a small ball and it immediately catches fire uh, when you do this experiment always wear your lab coat goggles and your, your um, gloves guys look it, it always swell it's always swell <laughs> it form a small ball and it move here and there because of the reactivity one more one more and it catches fire when you look when you go down the group what happened to the reactivity reactivity increases and two gram of francium is enough to break the bathtub guys so look at that still you can still you can still the action is there so i want to put it back all my stuff i hope you enjoy this experiment still still some part of the experiment is left you know look at that when you drop sodium in water the reaction is highly exothermic it catches fire a lot of heat is produced and you can see the smoke here so sodium react with water and we will get sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas because of the hydrogen gas you can feel but you can't see you can feel the smoke look at the sodium look at the reaction of sodium with water and i will do one more i will do the last part of the experiment look first let's see what happens when sodium drop in water why there's a fume here so which gas comes out look at this so sodium and a metal react with water and we will get sodium hydroxide and a oh plus hydrogen gas a few times by two yeah and if you times by two times by two i think everything is balanced two sodium two sodium two oxygen two oxygen and four hydrogen this gas comes out and this is a liquid or aqueous solution which is alkaline solution which is a basic solution when we drop sodium in water we will get sodium hydroxide hydroxide plus hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is pop up so when you use the lighter uh, that lighter pop up with a uh, pop up sound I'm not showing that experiment I will show you with some other metal so sodium react with water and form sodium hydroxide which is an alkaline solution is a basic solution so look at that this is also a colorless solution when I add this solution into that sodium hydroxide solution see what will happen a magic will happen see the color chain both are colorless guys and you have to tell me the name of this colorless liquid now look at that when we add a small drop look at the color chain look at the magic so when you add this liquid into the another colorless liquid which is sodium hydroxide the color of this liquid changed to pink
please write down in the comment box what's the name of this colorless liquid and why this solution both the solution both the colorless solution now that sodium hydroxide which was colorless before adding this liquid now it turns to pink why that solution turns to pink so write down your answer in the comment box so uh, this experiment is a clear proof that the sodium reacts with water and it forms sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas i will come back with such interesting experiment just not only we have to learn the theory of metal we have to learn the experiment regarding this metal and it's easy to memorize all these property of the sodium not only the sodium the properties of the group one metals so they can give away the electron when they react with the water they form alkaline solution thanks for watching my video